With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, if the geometric mean of A and B is A to the power n plus 1 plus B to the power n plus 1 divided by B to the power n plus A to the power n then n is equal to what? Option 1 is minus half, option 2 half, option 3 1 and option 4 none of this. Okay. So here we are given two numbers which are two numbers are given which are A and B. Okay. These are the two numbers. So according to question what we can write? It is given that geometric mean of A and B is a to the power n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1 divided by a to the power n plus b to the power n. Okay. So, if we want to find out the geometric mean of ab, it will be equals to root under ab. This is according to question equals to what? a to the power n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1 divided by a to the power n plus b to the power n. Okay. So, from here what you can write? It will be equals to a to the power half multiplied by b to the power half. Whole multiply. If we cross multiply, it will be a to the power n plus b to the power n equals to a to the power n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1 okay or from here if we multiply it will be a to the power n plus half if we multiply this this will be a the base are same so the power will be added n plus half okay multiplied by here the b to the power n plus, uh, b to the power half will be remaining plus in this case it will be a to the power half will be remaining multiplied by b to the power half plus n it will be b to the power n plus 1 by 2. This is equals to what? This is equals to a to the power n plus 1, n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1. Okay. Or if we change the side, it can be written as a to the power n plus half multiplied by b to the power half. If we bring this a to the power n plus 1 on this side, what we will find? It will be minus a to the power n plus 1. This will be equals to here it is b to the power n plus 1. And this value will be uh, subtracted that means it will be minus a to the power half into b to the power n plus half okay so from here what you can take you can take a to the power n plus half common so a to the power n plus half we have taken it common so here it will be only b to the power half remaining minus so n plus one this one can be written as what one can be written as half plus half two into half that means it is one so this one can be split uh, splitted in two parts half plus half and we have taken n plus half common that means one half is remaining which will be a to the power half plus similarly if we take b to the power uh, it will be equals to equals to this will be b to the power if we take b to the power n plus half common from here n plus half common what will be left here it is b to the power n plus one so n plus one can be written as what n plus half plus half okay two into half is one again so we have taken one half common so we left only b to the power half minus so a to the power half will be remaining okay so these two terms are identical so they will be cancelled from here what you can see it is a to the power n plus half equals to b to the power n plus half okay or if we can write it as a by b if we bring the b up under a that means as denominator it will be a by b whole to the power n plus half equals to what one one can be written as a by b whole to the power zero so if we compare n plus half is zero it will be Therefore, you can write n plus half equals to 0 or from here n is or equals to n will be equals to minus half. Okay. So, we have to find out the value for n. This is the value for n as minus half. The value of n is minus half which is option 1 and this is the correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.